Welcome back, everyone. Paulie, lovely uh, t-shirt. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, yeah, David Bowie is a bit of a, a bit of a master. I bit do love him. He's a bit of a hero. Yeah. <laughs> um, I wanted to. I mean, you're a musician. You're a bass player. Correct. I am a bass player. Uh, I was more a uh, frequent bass player uh, <laughs> a few years ago, but um, I am definitely still a bass player. I actually played a really fun set with someone who is a, a very accomplished drummer <laughs> who happens to be right by my side. And that was a lot of fun. That was amazing. It was nice to collaborate musically um, as we collaborate in other ways too. Um, I think... Uh, Bass and drums go nicely together. They, it's just like <laughs> like peas and carrots. It was a, it was good fun, and um, you know, music's a massive part of my life. I imagine same for you. Tell yeah. us a little bit about your musical background. Um, well, when I was thirteen, I listened to Music Box by Mariah Carey, and um, that was pretty much the. Yes, I embraced it, um, and, but I suppose my my music journey kind of uh, matured over the years. Um, I, I played in a band for, for many, many years where uh, the major influence in that band was funk and soul music. Before then, I got into a lot of jazz, so I was like, a, all around that kind of sphere was where I was kind of um, really interested in, but at, at the same time, I was really into you know, angry, charged, um, you know, youthful kind of uh, <laughs> 90s, uh, 90s music that I know we both share a great passion and love for. Um, so, you know, it, but that's the thing about music for me. I loved, I love, still love to be able to bring a piece of music out that can be in direct potential conflict to um, another piece of music that I love, but it just unveils like an aspect of my personality that uh, can just like uh, completely just just come to the forefront mm -hmm. so you know like I've got you know you've got your, your more refined kind of jazz or whatever you want to uh, refer to it as but then you've just got this you know kind of insane Seattle scene that is just kind of charged and and, and 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 I love that because I, I can put that on when I'm doing a particular style of training and it will get the best out of me mm -hmm. what about you um, I love rock and roll. Great, great. <laughs> it's a, a, a great, um, oh, great, great music to train to, great uh, music to play along to. Mm. Um, yeah, I've been obsessed basically since uh, I heard a Lenny Kravitz track, Are You Gonna Go My Way? I think it was 1993. I heard a snare drum, which felt like for the very first time, and I knew I wanted to play drums, but it took, it took about five years to convince my parents um, that I was serious about wanting to play drums. So I was a late starter, mm. but I was committed and passionate and, and still am. And I'm grateful that they gave me the opportunity to learn amazing. and grateful for all the amazing mu music out there that really taught me how to play drums. Um, and now in terms of training and doing long distance rides and uh going for runs now, which is amazing. I, I love listening to lots of great rock and roll. Um, like what? Give us some names. Well, Rage Against the Machine is always a, a great band to elicit some energy and excitement. And Rage Against the Machine is a great example of the fusion of like this intense, angry rock and roll <laughs> with such a badass funk backline. <laughs> like... Oh my god, that <laughs> that 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 back line there is just out of control. It is, it is. And like long journeys, I mean obviously we've got tool, but then we go to Zeppelin, we go Oof. to Pink Floyd, we go to Cream. Yes. Um, I mean we could just do a whole talk on like the music preferences and passions <laughs> that we have. We certainly but it's could. like what do you bring into your life? Um, when you're looking to do a workout, whether it's a strength workout, when it's an endurance <laughs> session when you're looking to do some sprint work. I mean, it's so nice to hear from others about the music that inspires them. So let's throw it back to you and listen and we'll hear like what, what's saying that motivates and inspires you. Great idea. And also if you're not feeling it in particular before you're going for a workout, the power of music 
to be able to just flip that switch and to be able to go, right, I'm, it's game time, it's mm. focus time. I don't know if you've ever seen um, A Clockwork Orange, mm. but that's like, for a good solid period of time, that was one of my favorite, the, my favorite movie of all time uh, for a really good period of time. And just like the power, uh, it just reminded me the power of like these, uh, uh, this semiology of music or uh, visuals to be able to switch somebody's mindset. Uh, it can do it like that, that, especially the music that you grew up with as scientific mm -hmm. studies to show that um, during your most, um, you know, like impressionable years, the music that you listen to then, if you switch that on, wow, it's just going to have such an emotive experience mm -hmm. on you mm -hmm. and it will get you focused to be able to accomplish those tasks when you're training. Love it. Well, can't wait to hear from you all and uh, learn some of the, uh, some, well, some new music, some new options and styles. Yeah, let's hear it, guys. Thanks, everyone.